Hey man, happy Tuesday. Wayne Sutton here at theprofitshow.com. I'm coming to you today praying for, helping you pray for your family members, your loved ones that have they've gone away from the Lord. Maybe they've never come to the Lord to begin with, or maybe they've been born again. Maybe they've walked in the fullness of God. Maybe they know what the truth is, but they decided to go in another way. We're turning here into 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 8, 3. But Samuel's son did not walk in his way. They turned against after dishonest gain, took bribes, and perverted justice. And see, and even, even Eli, Eli was a priest and a leader in ancient Israel. God chose him to mentor Israel's great prophet Samuel. But Eli was grossly ineffective in his own family. And sometimes we are too. There's those that you love. Listen to me. doesn't mean that we have messed up. It means they have chosen to walk a different path. It means they've walked away from the Lord. And I really felt like today, as I read through Samuel here, that his sons did not walk in his ways. How about your loved ones? How about your children? How about your grandchildren? Do you have children or grandchildren that you have prayed for, that you've talked to, that you've argued with, but they're far from the Lord? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go and begin this prophet show by letting you know I'm praying for them today. I'm praying for them today that the glory of God would come upon them, that people would come into their life. I want you to post just in the comments below if you if you if you want to, or you can even go to the secondadam.com, the secondadam.com forward slash prayer. Put in their names. Let me know. Let me and my prayer team know. We're going to call forth an agreement with you. That the Holy Spirit is leading them. Hallelujah. That the Holy Spirit will just pull them, draw them closer. We're going to pray that people, that other people, would come into their life. That would bring them the message of the gospel. Sometimes when we pray and we teach and we try to talk to them, we must understand what Jesus said. When a prophet is without honor in his own land, sometimes it takes another voice, an outside voice. Amen. So while you're praying for your children, your grandchildren, your spouse, whomever it may be, maybe they're not listening. If you continue praying, because every time you pray, you're shifting the atmosphere of heaven. Every time you pray, you're shifting the atmosphere of heaven. But also find someone else. If you are without honor in your own land, then find someone else. Who can you pray for? Maybe you have a friend. Maybe it's their children. Maybe you have a a co-worker. Maybe it's one of their children. Can you pray for them? Can you say, I'm going to pray for your son. I'm going to pray for your daughter. I'm going to pray for your spouse. What's their name? And can you take dedicated time every day to pray for them, to speak over them? Because as you pray for one another, your prayers will be answered. I love, I love seeing families come together. Families come together. Amen. Under that umbrella of love. Under that umbrella, that anointing of love. If you're the only one in your family that's saved, the only one born again, continue to pray and let us pray with you. Let us pray with you. Guys, go to theprofitshow.com, theprofitshow.com if you haven't signed up for our newsletter yet. Let's sign up receive these daily updates, these prophetic prayer portals. Also, go to theofferingplate.com, theofferingplate.com. We just increased our ministry budget. We just increased our ministry budget so we can take this, this message through media and through parts of the world that no one else may ever get in by foot. We're going to get in by video. Amen. We're going to get in hollow through media. And it's not cheap. So help us if you wouldn't mind. If you would help us at theofferingplate.com. Theofferingplate.com. This is Pastor Wayne. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. Until tomorrow, God bless. I believe in you. Because I believe in the Jesus Christ within you.